is just put on, he chased it up a long ways, I just put on that the jerky chub from bait rigs. But the key is just bringing them up. And if you look down the hole, watch that you give it like three pumps, that bait swims for a little while. And right when that bait stops is when them fish are going to get it. But you don't want it to stop too long. So you're going to jig it. As soon as the fish comes up to you, give them a pause. Think, think of when that bait's going to stop. If you don't get it by then, make them come up again. Keep doing it. If he goes down, you go down. But the key is that swim and you hold it still. And right when that bait stops, the fish is going to grab it. So let's see if we can get some more. Just... This is a cluster. You need help? Get Larry, get in there. Back left corner. Back left. Keep going back. Oh, right a there. big snap like that? Well, that's going to have to be it. The size of a wheel. Oh. <laughs> hey, Michael. First one on the auto. On an auto. Yeah. Yep. Think it's going to be a trout? Oh, no. White fish. Nice one. Got him. Nice white fish. It's a nicer size. One. That is a big one. We just had another one on this one a little while ago. Hey, so what is the deal with using autos? Why not use regular tip-ups when you're fishing like this? Well, it's super nice if you're doing a lot of catch and release. Um, most of the time, you're going to hook them right in the corner of the mouth. Okay. Just like that. So they're not going to have it swallowed where not you're going to have to worry about killing the fish. No, exactly. You know, if you're fishing big fish or if you're just you know, out there to have some fun, you hook them in the corner of the mouth. Well, let them go. Makes sense for sure. Hey, let's talk a little bit. Now, what uh, on this rig, you're, are you really tight to bottom it? Or are you just using a, a single hook and with a small shiner or what, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, we're fishing tight to bottom for the white fish. Uh, little lake shiners, the smaller ones seem to do better because they have such a small mouth. And single hook, huh? Yep, small uh, octopus hook. This is a size eight. We'll use size six and eight, but with the white fish, a little bit smaller. So okay, to, so because they have such a small bite. mouth on exactly. them, huh? Excellent. And you know, there's something about, you know, as far as eating quality out of Lake Superior, it's like, if you've never eaten fish out of Lake Superior, you guys, you have to definitely try it. You know, um, the lake trout to me are absolutely my favorite for sure out of here, but I've never had a bad fish out of here. No, the, the cold, cold, clean water, it's uh, ideal for, for eating fish. There we go, got another one. Oh, there we go. Another one. Not a monster, but we'll eat that bugger. On that chub again, same thing. Come up, they always grab that bottom treble hook. And they always take your minnow head somehow. That is good eating. Smoked, fry pan, bake them. Hopefully we put a bunch on the ice today. Marking them, but they're just a little finicky yet. You get little windows where these things will come and go and they'll feed real aggressive and then they won't come off the bottom much, but these ones are definitely, there's about three of them there. Once you get more than one, it's like dogs fighting over a tree. I gotta get back down there. I will tell you what, we are definitely packing up and heading out a little bit farther to some of Tommy's hot spots. You know, that's a great part I love about you, Tommy, is that beyond the catch definitely means beyond the catch. We are always rocking and rolling. What the hell are you laughing at? A little move. We little move. To, we tried to stay close here on the, we'll say the close side of the channel. But right. We're, we're going to head out by Long Island. I'll just, we're on the outskirts of Shawamigan Bay, and we're just fishing the edge of the shipping channel. Hey, and that means I get to run the skidoo some more, too. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Do it. On the move, on the move, beyond the cuts. Seems like a smaller one, but just uh, fishing the bottom with this uh, vibrating blade bait. Second one on the auto today. I think it's something nicer, or it's hooked a little funny, 
one of the two. It just got here to the hole. That's a white fish. It's just a really nice Really nice one. Nice. Nice, nice fish. Whitey. On the auto again. On an auto. On a live they minnow. They slow down a little bit. No, they're picking at the live minnows. They are. Definitely. We're moving around, trying. Might have to go a little deeper for the jigging though, but. Yeah. Jigging, I mean, we've mar been marking quite a few fish. Just they're just real lethargic right now. Can't get them to finish. Yeah, they're off. So Tommy, you know what? I look around and there really is not a ton of people fishing whitefish out here. And so I think about Green Bay, in the Bay of Green Bay, it has really become a very popular fish to target. For one thing, they're good eating. Yeah. The other part is they're definitely fun to catch. Fun to catch. And you know what? So when somebody is looking at coming up to an area like this up here in Ashland Bayfield, let's talk about really the things they should have and how they should look for these fish and able to be successful. Well, we kind of fish them like Green Bay as well. Not Maybe not as slow. We fish a lot. I like to see the swimming baits or the vibratos or... We try to make them chase. Okay. But they're on a minnow. They're on a minnow bite. You know, they're eating shiners. They're eating really small smelt. Now they don't eat gobies here, huh? No, no. Okay. We don't have any gobies. You don't have gobies at all in Lake no, Superior. Not, not I did I not know, know that. Okay. No, so yeah, and that's basically you know what they're eating out on there. So good deal. So we'll fish. We've been fishing a lot of the reef fish, so we're fishing the edges of these banks. Anywhere a lot of the islands are in the bay, it goes to about 30 feet, and then it drops off pretty good. And they'll, I think they feed on stuff picking, you know, on that steep bank as well. Hey, Tommy, them are really some great tips. You know, as far as let's give some people a few access points to when they do come out here to at least to where they can start as far as places where they can launch out of. Yep, today we left out of Washburn. Of course, it's one of them years a little lacking on ice. Um, guys are starting to walk out of the Bayfield area. We, we generally are now leaving out of Bayfield. And then we'll move on to Redcliffe. There's a place you can leave right off the casino in Redcliffe. I've fished that with you many times. When we're out in the islands, generally, that's the place a lot of people leave from. they got nice parking. Stop in there. Give them some business. They don't charge anything at the casino Which or is anywhere. nice. You know, but stop in and give these people some, some business for them. They take care. They plow everything for you. And it's, a, it's a definitely a huge help getting up, especially out of Redcliffe. It saves a lot of traveling when the going's rough. Come on, bait rigs. Hey! Whoa! Hooked up! I mean, hooked hicks. up. Hooked up. Hooked up. Gotta love it. Just switch back to the. Herky jerky chub. The herky jerky chub. You got the chub on. Chubbing it up, buddy. They like that light blue. Nice fish, too. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. That's been the color of the day right there. The herky jerky chub. Gotta love it. We're marking so many of them, but one frustrating thing, they're all coming up and definitely not finishing through. We're just trying to go through the colors. Everybody's trying something different, but that minnow head on this seems to be the key. We'll keep going. There we go. I went to a just a little drop chain. Drop chain, huh? They're real slow. Adapt, adapt, right? Got to adapt. Got something. Got to try something. Everybody's marking just a lot of them. They're just real negative. Real negative. Oh, saving lost it right in the hole. Woo, nice job, Tommy. Nice, Whitey. Oh, here we go. Got on my Meg's custom noodle rod. What I did is I, I had the herky jerky on and they were denying me. So what I did is I went with a tungsten, this new tungsten by Bait Rigs. The crystal Crys ball? Crystal ball it is. And boy, he smashed it. Oh, Tommy. Nice job, Larry. Thank you, sir. I always enjoy coming up to this area. You know, this Bay, Ashland Bay Field, you Washburn, this is just an unbelievable area. You know, before when we were heading out, just looking at all the islands out here and just the scenic value alone is incredible. Oh. But when you start talking about the 
the quality of the fishing here. This is this is incredible, and the eating quality. I'm telling you, you know, you guys oh, yeah. are spoiled. You don't <laughs> understand how good these fish really are. 